What's up, Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam? It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of motherfucking tarot. All right, Scorpio's in the building. Let's see what Scorpio got going on for July. Um, I hope it's all good things, but if it isn't, you have time to fix it. You have time to change the energy, okay? So let's, let's get something good, right? So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if... Um, if you like what you see, um, make sure to go check all the playlists um, because I have plenty of playlists with interesting shit. <laughs> um, let's see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on in July for my lovely Scorpios? So, you know, the thing about uh, July Scorpio is you are getting over betrayal. You're getting over heartbreak. I do feel like you're longing for someone um, that you're probably not with. But I do feel like some of my Scorpios are dating, um, even though you're still very much um, uh, thinking about this person from the past. Okay. Even though this person's energy from the past is still here. I do feel like, um, whew, for some of you guys, you're going to be shocked. Somebody's coming in for you in July, Scorpio. Somebody's coming in in July. You're going to be shocked. <laughs> this is actually going to gonna um, surprise you a lot. Um, I feel like in... Um, I feel like in July, you're being very, very strong. And I feel like you're breaking away from the very things that were negative and the hurtful things. And I feel like you're really taking care of yourself in July. You're putting yourself first. You're building your confidence up and you understand some things a little bit better. You have a lot of major arcana here already. So in the month of July, you're really transforming. Okay. Really, 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 really uh, transforming in your energy. I like that. Um, and you're building, you're building a home, you're building a career, you're building your name, you're building your confidence, you're just really coming into your energy. But deep down inside, you're longing for the one. You're longing for a partner, whether you are telling everybody or not. I feel like you, Scorpio, are going to be the bringer of change. And I feel like you are the one who's going to bring some change in. I feel like you've been really thinking about some things. You've probably been in hermit mode for a while. But this is about you getting out. There's something that's going to surprise you, especially with dating and romance. You're like, yeah, whatever. And maybe somebody sets you up or something. You're like, yeah, whatever. But somebody on a date is going to shock you. Either they're going to be very enlightened or very in tuned with spirituality. And you're going to be like, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I feel like it's just going to be like this. Wait, what? Some of you guys, I feel like it's going to be like this candlelight dinner. And this person is just going to shock you. It's going to blow you away. And you're just not, it could be a Virgo, um, as I have a lot of earth here. It could be an earth sign, because you get Virgo, Taurus, or Cap. You got all earth over here. Um, but I do feel like someone is going to shock you. Um, I do feel like for some of you, um, you have come as far as you can in some of your relationships and some of your jobs. And so this is about you stepping into your power and understanding this is another introverted card. So it's kind of like the hermit card in a way where we're going within to see what do I do next? Where do I go? And so spirit is telling you to be courageous, go anywhere, do anything, follow your heart because you've gone as far as you can go where you're at. There is no more that you can go. She's plant, you know, she's watering this plant. It's very beautiful, but it has to come out of that planter. So you've gone as far as you can go, Scorpio. And July is about understanding that. Understanding that it's time to grow further. You got to take those training wheels off is what I'm hearing, okay? It's time to take the training wheels off, okay? I feel like when it comes to betrayal and, and you know, separations and partnerships and stuff, I feel like you are getting past it. You're not going to dwell on this shit anymore. You're not going to sit in, in and beat yourself up about it. You know your worth as the queen of pentacles. You know you're abundant. You know you're beautiful. And it, and it male or female doesn't matter. I don't do gender. I do energy. You know you are, you know your worth. You know you deserve a, a certain type of energy to come in. You know you deserve a certain type of partner. And you're building your firm foundation so that when this person comes in that you are ready 
for this person and you're a very nurturing and loving energy okay um i feel like you're still longing though you're longing for the one you're longing for that person to come in and i feel like you're standing strong you know that they will you know that you're going to get to the ten of pentacles because you're going to be patient you're going to wait for the person who truly truly matches your energy and in july i feel like you could be meeting this person okay or at least your energy is getting closer to this person coming in. I will say this, um, Scorpio, if you are single and somebody asks you out or asks you for your number, take a second. Remember what Divine Moon Goddess said, take a second and exchange numbers. You're going to be surprised should you give your number, should you go out on this date. Something is going to change. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really ready for your partner. You're ready for your person. You're ready for that counterpart in your life. And I feel like you've been building everything up to where you're at. You're very, very abundant for July. As far as money goes and everything, I see it's good. The only thing I see is that career-wise, you've gotten as far as you can. You need to level up something, whether go back to school, get a degree, whether learn some more skills. There's something about you've gone as far as you can in a situation. Now it is time to level up. And it's going to take you to step into your power and your confidence to understand that you can. Okay? This is all about stepping into your confidence and owning it. For some of you guys, you're bringing the tower. You're becoming the tower. You're creating the change in your life. And for some of you, this tower is beautiful change for you as you get away from the past. Some of you guys got to come out of hermit mode, though. You got to come out of hermit mode. This, this love is not going to be dropped to your front door by Amazon Prime, okay? Amazon Prime is not going to deliver this person, okay? You need to get outside. You need to go out. You need to, to vibe. You need to mingle, okay? Maybe go on a blind date. I don't fucking know. But I feel like very good things coming um, for my Scorpios in the month of July. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. So as always, I send you my love and my light. My light and my love. Until next time, bye.